Hello and welcome to my channel for news about the bold and beautiful intro. Please follow and subscribe for more information. Your friend Eric, is me. Let's begin. Bold and the beautiful has Luna Nozawa so alone in the world today with her mother in custody, her boyfriend's betrayal, and the man she calls dad questioning his paternity on the CBS soap. While she understood Bill Spencer's need to do another test, he still crushed her with his request. For a grueling fifteen minutes, they were like two strangers in a room waiting for the test results. But then the sadness turns into something sick as the episode closes. Bold and the Beautiful, Betrayals Mount for Luna Nozawa Luna Nozawa's, Lisa Yamada, world came crashing down on her this week as the people she cares about most seem to betray her. Her mother's secret about Tom Starr, Clint Howard, landed her in jail. This is something Luna Nozawa should have known years ago. Then she confides in R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman. But he suddenly turns into the village grapevine on Bold and the Beautiful. Luna watched her mother carted off in handcuffs on Bold and the Beautiful this week. Partly thanks to R.J., who betrays Luna and tells his aunt about Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park. But after such a warm welcome from Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, as the father she never knew, he suddenly wants to retest the evidence. BNB spoilers, Luna gets red light. The timer goes off as the new DNA test is ripe to read. Bill and Luna are like zombies in the room waiting for the outcome. This can only go one of two ways. Positive or negative for a match. So, Bold and the beautiful spoilers seem to lean toward a match between the two. But Friday we learn it's a no-go. Bill Spencer is not Luna Nozawa's father. But, for Luna, the damage is done, or so you may think. Bill's request for a retest hit her hard, but now the results hit harder. So, while Bill Spencer plans to be there for Luna Nozawa, she's still crushed. Or is she? Bold and the beautiful spoilers, viewers left with sickening pit in their stomachs. When learning Luna Nozawa is not Bill's daughter, BNB fans' hearts sank, as she likely feels like a ship without a port. This leaves the Forrester creations in turn with no one left to turn to. RJ proved untrustworthy, plus she couldn't imagine his family would want anything to do with her because her mother is now a murder suspect. Despite Bill reassuring Luna that he'll always be there for her despite not being her father, she makes a move that leaves the bold and the beautiful viewers with a pit in their stomachs today. So, Luna Nozawa is not the princess in the Spencer dynasty. But it looks like she's making a bid for the queen. The soap closes with an astonishing cliffhanger when Luna plants one on Bill Spencer. But that's no daddy kiss. Now this opens a whole new can of worms on the CBS soap. The sun was setting over the Los Angeles skyline, casting long shadows across the opulent Forrester mansion. Inside, the tension was palpable as the Forrester family gathered in the Grand Salon, their faces reflecting a mix of anxiety and anticipation. The recent DNA test results were about to be revealed, and with them, the potential unraveling of the carefully woven tapestry of relationships that had been the hallmark of their lives. Luna Reyes, the enigmatic new arrival in town, had been a disruptive force since her arrival. With her dark past and mysterious connections, she had managed to insert herself into the heart of the Forrester family drama. But today, Luna was waiting with bated breath for the results of the DNA test that would determine whether or not she had a legitimate claim to the Forrester fortune. As the results were handed over, Luna's eyes were locked on the envelope with an intensity that bordered on obsession. Ridge Forrester, the patriarch of the family, took a deep breath before tearing it open. The room fell into a hushed silence as he read the results aloud. Luna Reyes, Ridge began, his voice betraying no emotion, you are not a match to the Forrester family DNA. It appears that you are not related to us. A collective gasp swept through the room. Luna's face remained inscrutable, but her hands trembled slightly. She had hoped that this test would confirm her claim to a place within the Forrester dynasty, but it had failed her. Luna's eyes narrowed with a cold fury as she processed the news. 
she had come too far and invested too much into her scheme to be thwarted now. The Forrester family had become her target, and if she couldn't claim her place through legitimacy, she would find another way to exact her revenge. Later that night, in the shadows of the Forrester estate, Luna's plans took a darker turn. She had been quietly observing the family's routines, gathering information on their vulnerabilities. With the test results proving her claim false, she decided it was time to escalate her game. She knew exactly where to hit them where it would hurt the most. Luna had discovered an old family secret, one that could potentially destroy the Forester name. Hidden in the bowels of the mansion's archives was evidence of a scandalous affair that had been buried decades ago. The affair involved one of the Forrester family's most revered members and a rival businesswoman who had blackmailed them. If exposed, this scandal would not only tarnish the Forrester legacy but could also bring their empire to its knees. Luna's plan was meticulous. She began by carefully manipulating the staff at Forrester Creations, planting seeds of doubt and suspicion. She anonymously leaked the information about the old affair to various media outlets, ensuring that the details would slowly drip out, causing maximum damage. The media frenzy began with a series of cryptic leaks and rumors. The Forrester family was thrown into chaos as they tried to track down the source of the scandal. Ridge Forrester, his typically composed demeanor cracking under the pressure, was seen in heated discussions with his legal team, trying to contain the damage. Brooke Logan, Ridge's wife and the family's emotional anchor, was devastated by the unfolding drama. Her attempts to protect her family were met with increasing frustration as the media seemed to have an insatiable appetite for the sordid details. The once glittering Forrester empire now seemed to be teetering on the brink of collapse. As the scandal gained momentum, Luna watched with a dark satisfaction. Her strategy was working perfectly. She relished the sight of the Forrester family's carefully constructed world falling apart. Her vengeance was not just about money or power, it was personal. She had been wronged by those who had held power and influence, and now it was her turn to strike back. However, Luna underestimated the strength and resilience of the Forrester family. Despite the scandal, they were determined to fight back. Eric Forrester, the family patriarch and a man with a long history of overcoming adversity, took charge of the situation. He rallied his family and their loyal employees, organizing a public relations campaign to refute the scandal and reaffirm their commitment to their values.